had the first, second one done. I don't know where this wire came from. But we don't need this, but a lot of people just cut these off um, when they're making these uh, spot transformers. The insulation has been destroyed, but we don't need it that much. There's nothing there to insulate it once we put the primary coil back in. Okay, now that we've set up the uh, uh, crimper, we'll just push the lug on the end and uh, maneuver it, lock on the hydraulics and get a few pumps. Okay, well that's the cable all set, ready to go. First one done, release the hydraulics. Move it up a bit. And the final pink. And that should hold it in place. Okay, now time to uh, put the cable on properly take a bit of the slack and clean it all up a bit. So basically I've wrapped it around the core and gave it a few light taps to hammer to square out the cable. Next I'm going to squash down the cable a bit. As it's round um, it takes up a fair bit of room and so I'll just hit it and that should flatten out the cable somewhat. It won't damage the cable. Basically the core will just become oval shaped and give me a bit more room up top. Just make sure that when you tap it with the hammer you don't actually damage the inner rubber. There is that insulation around it, but better be safe than sorry. Trying to make it as rectangular as possible. Just going to get this insulation out the way. There he goes. Last but not least.
that should be it. Now to wrap the, the insulation over the cable. And we now fit the primary coil. This is the difference between the primary and the secondary. I don't know if you can tell the difference but um, on the actual cable, but the primary is significantly thicker than the secondary. Okay, so that should be all nice and flush. I'm not going to be putting the shunts in. These are those um, laminations I was telling you about. I spoke to the transformer manufacturer, said on this sort of application, but not needed. So I'll see how they go. Might just clean that up a bit. Uh, Actually, I might just test it to see how it goes before I weld it up. Easier to do it now than later. Okay, now we're about to uh, finish welding the bottom and the top laminates together. In an earlier part of the video I said that I would be taking the shunts out but I've actually put half of them back in between the primary and the secondary because they act as a um, just to give it a bit more thickness so the coil doesn't actually move up and down. That was I think what was uh, the problem before when I switched it on it was vibrating so hopefully that'll stop it but we shall find out once I finish welding. There's a bit of contamination in the weld, there's a bit of uh, uh, adhesive that's on the iron. I should have cleaned it a little bit better, but it'll hold so that's not a problem. I've clamped it up, it's fairly tight, so uh, hopefully it'll squash all the laminates together so they won't make too much noise. Hopefully that's the finished part of the transformer.